wanted to show y'all this truck right here. See that? I can't even pronounce that. But I'm at the Love's exit 163, I-40 in Arizona. Sun's getting down, as you can tell by the video. I am parked along the curb because I am wide. Still got my lights on. But this guy, um, here's the entrance. So you pull in here, and this guy's just parked right in the middle of everything. I've been here for, I don't know, about 45 minutes. Because this was the last truck stop I could get to before it got dark on me. And this guy's just parked right here in the middle. I don't know. Should I wake him up? Should I knock on the door? I don't know if he's asleep, taking a shower. I don't know what he's doing. But he is parked right here in the middle of everything. I mean, I understand creative parking. This ain't even creative. It's like he rolled in here with 10 seconds left on his clock and he just set the damn brakes and said, that's it, I'm done. Maybe he quit. I don't know. Looks like there may be a free truck and trailer here at the at the Love's I-70 exit 163. Y'all hurry up and get out here and get it. I don't know. I don't really want to pick a fight with anybody today. I don't want to be, you know, the truck stop police man. But come on, guys. We got to do better than this. We got to absolutely do better than this. You cannot do this. And if you think you can, if you don't see anything wrong with it, then give your driver's license back, man. Come on. This truck right here is trying to get around him and probably can't. Because this guy is parked right smack in the way. I don't know. I do not know. I have no words. I have no words. I think I'm gonna knock on his door and just let him know, in case you didn't know, you're blocking everything. Because you know how truck stops get it late at night, you know, four or five o'clock in the morning, this thing's gonna be jam packed full. Let's see, I'm gonna knock on the door. Y'all hang on. about it i didn't have to argue or scream or nothing but look he's moving good for him good for why he parked there at the beginning i don't know but good for him that was a happy ending all right guys i don't know if a lot of y'all use the cat app for weighing but i'm gonna i'm gonna do a, a shorter video and show y'all how easy it is to weigh using the cat app first thing you do make sure you're on the scale correctly i don't know if you can see in the mirror i'm on the scale correctly okay hold that baby second thing you do i set the brakes just because i don't want to accidentally roll and i don't want it moving around so you pull up your cat app okay you have to download the cat app and when you do that you have to go in the first time you do it you have to go in and you have to put payment information my company because i'm a company driver at the moment they pay it on the fuel card i don't even have to pay for it so interscale location if you look on that deal it gives you a number 613 if you look right here it says 613 so you just hit confirm and then it'll make sure you didn't change companies or anything like that you hit the accept button for it's 1350 now i don't know if y'all can see that real good with the sun and this this part takes a minute but you don't even have to go in and get your scale ticket unless you need it. It will send you a email of 
the scale ticket so 11.3 on my steers i'm good 26.7 on my drives that's good 23.4 on my trailer 61.6 gross i am perfect so you can hit view pdf if you want to and you can take a screenshot you have it there but check this out if you set it up if you go in and set it up then it will send you an email the way we do it at this company is it sends a pdf of the scale ticket just like that but what i do is i hit forward and then i go up here and i put in the first couple letters of my dispatcher's address email address this is a company policy you don't have to do it this way unless it's company policy but we have some drivers that have gotten in trouble for overweight tickets because they're not taking the time to weigh their load and i just hit send and now my dispatcher has my scale ticket he knows i'm legal i know i'm legal i knew i was Where's legal phone, before please? i knew i was legal before i weighed because i in california i loaded and i hit a, a, a weigh station within a mile of each other and there was no way for me to scale it there was no no cat scales for me to scale it at and they let me go so that told me right there in california if they let you go you're legal so but that's how easy it is to use the scale the cat scale app i don't even have to get out and go in i don't need that piece of paper so i just wanted to throw this video out there and show y'all how easy it is to use the scale app the cat scale app don't forget guys i'm giving away a thousand dollars for my every thousand subscribers that i get i'm going to give away a thousand dollars so when i hit a thousand subscribers i'll pick a name off of my off of the subscriber list and i'm just going to send them a message and figure out how to get their venmo or paypal or whatever they have and i'm gonna send them a thousand dollars and at two thousand i'm gonna do the same thing three thousand same thing so y'all hit that like and subscribe you never know y'all may be the re recipient of my casino money for a month so uh, but we we have grown pretty well over the last month we've gotten almost 100 subscribers in the month of august so uh, I can't thank y'all enough. Um, keep hitting that like and subscribe. Share it if you want to. Um, send me a message, whether it's, you know, a nice message or, or a crappy message. You know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Your opinion may be wrong, but that's okay. I like to hear them. So, uh, I will see y'all down the road.